bar science. And how to make your own. All right, so I like to call these bars the super seedy bars. So let's take a look at our ingredients here. We'll use half a cup of pumpkin seeds, half a cup of coconut, fourth a cup of sesame seeds, fourth a cup of sunflowers, and we'll do a few walnuts just for fun because we're gonna get crazy. And you just really wanna coarsely process it, don't over process it because you want it chunky. Then we set this aside in a bowl and then we'll do the wet ingredients. We use about 10 dates, three tablespoons of coconut oil, and two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa. We'll pulse it for about 30 seconds. Now I'm just gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Then we'll add a tablespoon of poppy seeds. We'll do three tablespoons of rolled oats. And then you just pour it into a pan and press it down to the bottom. So then you just put your dish in the fridge for about 30 minutes and you're good to go. They'll keep for about a week. You can cut them into bars, take them wherever you like and you get some super CD bars. All right, thanks for watching this video. Remember, subscribe to The Whistle, and also you can subscribe to our new sports science channel where you can see all of our videos when we update them all the time. All right, see you next time. What do they taste like? They are good, seriously. They're a little more crumbly than the ones you buy, but did you put chocolate in here? There's a little bit of chocolate, yeah. yeah. Cacao. Oh yeah. Raw. Raw chocolate.